Good morning, everyone. Today's scripture is the book of James, chapter 4, 1 to 4. So let us read together. What causes quarrels and what causes fights among you? Is it not this, that your passions are at war within you? You desire and do not have, so you murder. You covet and cannot obtain, so you fight and quarrel. You do not have because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly, to spend it on your passions. We were looking at three enemies of the heart that everyone faced through this Bible plan. Each of the enemies of the heart is energized by the idea that somebody owes something. So guilty says, I owe you. When do we feel guilty? So when someone has been harmed because we have done something wrong to them, we usually feel guilty. So that's why the Bible plan says, guilty means I owe you. So how can we get rid of our guilt? Right, Pastor Andy says, confession has the power to break the cycle of sin. He gives a Bible verse for this, the first John chapter 1, 9. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And then Pastor Andy gives the second enemy of the hurt, that is anger. And he says anger is fueled by the notion that we, you owe me, you owe me. So why does he say like that? The root of anger is the perception that something has been taken. So when someone else takes our ours by force, we feel anger. So how can we get rid of our anger? So Pastor Andy says, the remedy for anger is only forgiveness. And then last time, we learned about the third enemy of the hurt. So what was that? Right, greed. So Pastor Andy says, greed means I owe me. So no matter how many things we have, if we do not have satisfaction, we always think we need more. So Pastor Andy says, we should not try to have more. Rather, we should give more to others. So when we do that, we can break the power of greed. So, and now, today, Pastor Andy tells us about the last enemy of the heart, that is, jealousy. So, when do we envy others? When we found something we do not have, but others have, we usually envy others. But we know that everything comes from God as a Christian. In other words, we do not have something because God did not give us. That's why we may feel inside that He owes us, God owes us. But we must get rid of this jealousy from our hearts because it does not make other people sick. It makes us sick. Proverbs 14.30 says, A hurt at peace gives life to the body, but envy ruts the bones. But there are two other reasons why we should get rid of jealousy. First reason is that 
what God will give or who God will give it to is God's will. There is no reason for us to complain about it. And the second reason why we should stop jealous others is that we also have something special, but nobody has. God thinks each of us is so special. So He creates us all different and special. And God gave each of us special things we needed. So if we do not have something that others have, God did not give it to us because we do not need it. But Pastor Andy recommends us to ask God when we have desires that can never be fully and finally satisfied. So today's scripture, James 4.2 says, You do not have because you do not ask God. If we ask God, He will answer us because He loves us so much. But He also does not answer us because He loves us. When will not God answer us? First, in verse 3, James says, You could not receive although you ask God, when you ask with wrong motives, that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. In other words, if we ask something for only our pleasures to God, He never gave us them. But if we ask God something to glorify Him, He would like to give us them. Second, God does not give us something although it seems to be good, not for only our pleasure. Why? Because God knows everything that what is really good for us. We should know that something could lead us to bad outcomes, although it looks really good. When we understand all about this, the jealousy of our hearts will be gone. So today, let's think about what makes us be jealous of others. Is that really what we need? And also, let's think about what we have something special that other people do not have. And then, let us have time to give thanks and praise to God. So God bless you all and see you next time.